Carl. <laughs> Dr. Carl, I didn't see the gorilla and I didn't see this one coming. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank the Australian Institute of Management. This has been an incredible process to go through um, and I guess to reflect on the skills that I've developed um, within my role. Often we're so busy doing the job that we don't get a chance to look back and think about what we're actually doing and how we're doing it and why we're doing it. So thank you to the Australian Institute of Management uh, for having a process that allows us to do that. I would like to um, thank also the sponsors, RACQ, for bringing this award about um, and enabling me to win it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm really unprepared for this because I just did not expect to be here after hearing all of the other finalists in this category. Um, I would like to thank um, my management committee who gave me the opportunity to come into this um, position about three years ago. I um, didn't have the skills and I didn't have the qualification, but the skill shortage got me here and I'm, I've made the absolute most of that opportunity. I would especially like to thank Anna Nichols, who I'm very fortunate to have in the room here with me tonight. She's been my mentor. She's an ex excellent business manager herself and she's passed on so much knowledge to me and without her and her gentle guidance and uh, mentoring, I would not be here tonight. So thank you so much, Anna. I also have to acknowledge uh, Lynn Gar Gargano and uh, Jill Garrett, who also mentored me immensely in the role that I am now in. And I also need to acknowledge my amazing staff because without their support, uh, I, I don't think that I could have made some of the decisions that I've made. They've been so gracious in accepting change in our organisation and enabling me to be the best manager that I can be. I also need to thank my husband, Simon, for understanding uh, why I do so many hours of unpaid work, being in a not-for-profit organisation, um, and allowing me to live out my passion of good management and good human service delivery. Um, yeah, and I guess I just want to finish on the note of saying that manage, being a manager is an eternal learning process. And, that's what's so important to me and that's what gets me here is um, knowing that there's so much out there to learn and we need to stay on top of things and be innovative and take up advice and listen to our mentors and the information that they give us and, and use the information that comes to us to um, develop really good practice. So, yeah, thank you. Mm.